Today is the first day of the Atlantic hurricane season, and what happens in the tropics can often affect central Texas. Researchers are predicting an above average number of hurricanes this summer and fall. Here's KVU's Bob Buckaloo. This is Colorado State University, and it's far away from the tropics, of course, but for nearly 40 years, the scientists who work here have issued predictions about hurricanes. And this year, they're predicting an above average period of hurricanes and tropical storms with 19 named storms. That's five more than the 10 year average of 14. And they're looking for nine hurricanes with four of them becoming severe. The predictions require a lot of number crunching and a sharp eye on a variety of weather conditions in faraway oceans. Research scientist Dr. Phil Klotzbach is pretty confident that it's going to be an active season. One of the big reasons being that we do not anticipate El Nino conditions. El Nino is warm in the normal water in the central and eastern tropical Pacific. When that occurs, it tends to increase the strength of winds high up in the atmosphere that tear apart hurricanes. We don't anticipate El Nino this summer and fall. We actually anticipate potentially even La Nina, which is colder than normal water in the eastern and central tropical Pacific, and that generally favors, uh, creates wind patterns that are more conducive for hurricane formation. If there's any good news, it's that they're not predicting another year like 2020, when there were 30 named storms and 13 hurricanes, the most active hurricane season on record. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.